that feel tonight? You know, it was awesome. You know, first NFL game, it felt pretty good to you know, play the way I did. And you know, my mom was here, that's number one for me. My mom and my aunt was here. So being able to first just have them here and then be able to do what I did, that's, you know, it means a lot to me. What did you see, sorry Sarah, what did you see on that initial, that 60 yarder um, catch and run and then sort of shaking the DB off a little bit? Uh, I just saw the ball in the air and first I was just trying to come down with it. And, you know, went up, made a contested catch and was able to just kind of move the ball away from him and get my arm out of there. And yeah, it's just kind of what happened. Bryce was telling us that he feels he has a lot of confidence in you be able to get those 50 50 balls. What does it mean to have a guy, a quarterback like that, trust you? I mean, just, you know, Bryce played a great game. You know, he's been having a great camp and we've kind of built our connection up in chemistry together as camp has gone on. But, you know, just having a guy like that back there who's able to just put the ball, you know, in the general area and, you know, first is he, he has confidence in me. And, you know, I got to, you know, give him confidence back just, you know, by, you know, making the catch. Lance, how far did your mom and your aunt travel to come to this game? Came from Montana. So I, I don't know, you know, how far the hours or miles it was, but Montana. What's that like for you, you know, an undrafted free agent to come to a team with some star receivers, some established receivers, and just some guys, veterans, and you're trying to crack that, make that roster? Yeah, I mean, I'm trying to, trying to make the team. And uh, just, you know, coming from Montana State, undrafted free agent guy, just, you know, uh, just come out here and just work in silence, you know, how I like to put it. Just come out here, you know, just work and, you know, take advantage when I'm given the opportunity and just, you know, just, just keep going, keep building up those opportunities and taking advantage on game day. Cooper Cup um, shouted you out actually in OTAs many months ago. Um, did you know that at the time or is he someone who you've sort of studied a little bit? Yeah, I mean, I studied him uh, a lot in my last year of college and, you know, the year, phenomenal year he had last year. But, I mean, uh, coming in in the OTAs, he was, I mean, he's another Big Sky guy. And he, uh, you know, since day one, at first, you know, he came over to me and introduced himself, shook my hand. And was just kind of, you know, if you need, ever need anything, just let me know. And you know, that, that means a lot. You know, he's going through the same thing I'm going through right now. And, uh, you know, just kind of, we just kind of had that Big Sky connection from day one. And, him and Allen and Ben and still JJ and Landon, all the receivers, you know, all the receivers have been super cool, uh, you know, since I first got here and helping me out with a lot. So that, that means a lot to me. Before, even before that, what did you pick the Rams? Why did you end up here out of all the They were the first one to call me, so, you know, I decided to take advantage. Yeah. The contested catch, those kinds of balls, is that one of your fortes? I mean, being able to outmuscle guys and or finesse them? I mean, I don't know if I'd call it a forte, but just. I mean, yeah, I mean, just just trying to just make the play, take advantage of the opportunity, the ball coming my way, and just, yeah, just, you know, help out my team. Those types of catches specifically, you've got a teammate who's known for making those regularly, and Allen, how has he helped you in, in that regard, if in any way? You know, we're, we're playing the same position right now, and, you know, I sit behind him in the meeting room, and he just, you know, always has something to coach me on, him and Cooper. You know, they're, they're geniuses when it comes to this game, and so, I'm always trying to pick their brain, see what they're doing. You know, if I have a, a play at practice, you know, I'm trying to keep that down in my head and try to, you know, ask them about it. How can I get better at this technique or this release or just, just anything? Lance, when you walk out and you're in your first NFL gear and you're walking out to your first NFL stadium, and how do you settle yourself? Is it just reps on reps or do, is there a certain thing that you say to yourself or a routine that you have? Uh, just go out there and just take a couple deep breaths, you know, look around, soak it all in, and then, uh, you know, we still got to play. You know, I'm out there to play football, and so, yeah, I was a little, you know, starstruck, a little overwhelmed during the warm-up, but I was able to, you know, play one, I was good. I was good to go. <laughs> Did you keep one of the footballs, the touchdown footballs? No, I actually didn't. And then when you saw, I'm sure, had you seen your mom, did you see your mom yet? Like, on the, did she come down on the side? Yeah, I always try to find her uh, wherever she's sitting. I did this in college, too, just find her wherever she's sitting. And, you know, after we run out and do the little prayer in the end zone, I always try to, you know, just look up and, you know, point at them. And uh, I, I was eyeing them a couple times throughout the game, just making sure, you know, she's still there. She's not getting, you know, concessions or something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure she was losing it a couple of times. Yeah. Have you uh, checked her phone from messages from people back home? Yeah, I just vaguely checked it. It's uh, it's kind of going crazy right now, and so I just kind of just put on Do Not Disturb, and I'll I'll take care of it later. <laughs>